Good morning. First of all, wow. Second of all, you guys haven't seen my hair cut short yet. Third of all, it's been a really long time since I filmed. Fourth of all, I'm getting a nose job. So I made it to Amsterdam. Guys, this is my first time out of the country ever. It's been as different as I was expecting. Obviously, like it's just the airport, so they have to be, they have to kind of cater to everyone because everyone, what am I even saying? You know what I'm saying? It just feels so weird to not be in America. I'm sure you guys are so confused. I didn't really talk about it to anyone. I didn't really announce it or mention it, but I have wanted a nose job for a really, really, really long time. I'm gonna do a whole other separate video explaining and like kind of answering questions and going into the details of everything, why I'm going to Turkey, why I chose a doctor that I chose. Oh my God, I look so scary. We have the whole day of the 16th and then the 17th is the consultation and the day of the surgery. Really, we only have like the 16th to do whatever the fuck we want before we're gonna be bandaged up, bandaged, bandaged. Bandage. We're gonna be literally passing away in our hotel room. The recovery for a rhinoplasty is not the nicest. Also, it is so fucking cold in this airport and my nipples are not doing well. I have two more hours to go until I board my flight. So, <laughs> I passed the fuck out on my flight. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. So now I'm out here at my gate waiting to be picked up from my driver. At first he told me it was gonna be like five or six minutes and also it's freezing and I'm not wearing a coat because I didn't think I was gonna be standing outside. And then he just came up to me and he was like, um, actually it's gonna be about 10, 15 minutes. Like you could literally see my breath. Fuck my life. Hopefully it comes really fast. Kara said that the van is really, really, really nice. It's like warm and they have snacks and they have free Wi-Fi. So I'm hoping that it gets here as soon as possible because I I literally cannot feel my fucking fingertips. They almost didn't let me get through customs because Casper, my cat, chewed up my passport. <laughs> and he thought it was really sketchy, so he had to call like four other people to confirm that it was actually me and that it was okay. Finally got through, but I was panicking. But it's fine, everything is working out. I'm just waiting for my driver and I'll show you guys the van when it gets here. Finally made it. After like a half hour, <laughs> got picked up by my driver. When I say my hands are numb, can't feel them. I'm a little upset because Kara said that it had Wi-Fi. It was like really, really nice. It had blinds on the windows. It had snacks. It had drinks. Okay, pause. <laughs> the driver was not in the car when I was talking my shit. He was pumping gas, so. Don't worry. There's literally nothing in here. <laughs> I'm like, why do I always get the shitty end of the stick? It's fine, I'm not complaining, I'm here, I made it in one piece, but I'm just like, I was so excited to get in a warm, comfortable, snack-filled, free Wi-Fi bus. I don't know, I can't even speak because my brain has been scrambled for the past 48 hours, but bitch, I'm in Turkey. I will show you guys the hotel when I get there. Thank you very much. Hi. I made it. Guys, this hotel, stunning, stunning. Oh my God, this is so surreal, seeing all the YouTube videos and now seeing it in person. Oh my God, okay. This is the part that I've seen in literally every YouTube video. Okay, girl. Copy our mom. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect, well done. Our first breakfast, some yogurt, some fruit. Don't really know what Kara has going on over there. First outfit of the day. We're gonna go explore the Grand Bazaar, maybe the Blue Mosque. I don't really know, what else are we gonna see today? We just know that we have only a little bit of time before we're gonna be passing away in our casts, so. Somehow, some way, I forgot lash glue. And I have no lashes ever since having lash extensions, so I just feel really naked. I'm gonna go and see if I can find some lash glue somewhere because I'm not doing this today. The whole point is to get cute pictures. I guess that's not the whole point. The whole point is to explore and see things, but I need lashes, okay? So, Kara, when I had to go back to the room to get my phone, Kara saw four girls in the lobby with tapes on their noses. I'm like, they definitely know what we're up to here. This place is so interesting. This is kind of what everything looks like. So we started taking a taxi, but there was so much traffic that we just decided to walk. Everything is going great. I feel like I'm living in a fever dream right now.
show him this gorgeous. This man is trying to convince us to get these rugs. <laughs> I love them. Thank you. Bon is it uh, possible to offer you tea? Oh, I can't have any more tea. Thank you. We've though. had way too much caffeine. I don't know if I want to get that one or a. Uh, that one is backpack. stunning. Citizen. You guys, this place. Young lady. Wow. Kara, that one's really that cute. One? No, no, no. I want this one. So we were at his little mm -hmm. shop, and then Kara um, couldn't make up her mind, so he took us to his showroom and how fucking cool is this like i cannot even deal after this we have a reservation for lunch on this really cute terrace and then we're gonna go and see the masks my camera's about to die so i might have to film on my phone but i just wanted to update you guys i am so obsessed with turkey so far i'll talk to you guys soon Thank over you, there you're getting her picture taken. You're very good. <laughs> the best photographer. Do you want to try? <laughs> paramedic. My really job is paramedic. Oh. You you are beautiful. Güzel sin. Güzel sin. You are yourself. Beautiful, simple one. We're getting ready to see the moss. Oh my god, you guys, I'm so excited. This is honestly the, the part that I feel like I've been the most excited about, minus the nose job. <laughs> oh my god, it's so fucking beautiful. Hi, it's me editing. There's no audio right here, so I just figured I would fill in and say that this seriously was one of the prettiest things I've ever seen in my life. The ceilings are so tall, it's like unbelievable, actually. When you come in here, you obviously have to take off your shoes. So we went to the Blue Mosque first, which was under construction, so we didn't really get to see. But then we got to come to the Hagas, what is it called, Hagas Sophia? Pictures seriously do not even do this. The slightest bit of justice. Because there's so many stray wet dogs. <laughs> there's so many. I saw you two out of the corner. <laughs> I so literally sad. saw you. I saw you out of the corner of my eye, like petting the dog, and I was like, she's having a full on moment right now. I know, and now you're full on crying. Okay, so I'm in the bathroom because Kara. Kara's taking a little snooze because we had a really, <laughs> first of all, okay. We didn't think we were gonna go to the hospital until, hospital until tomorrow, which we found out that our COVID test came back negative and we actually go to the hospital and stay in the hospital tonight. <laughs> I'm starting to shit my pants. I'm starting to get really nervous. I'm starting to freak out, but I'm also starting to get extremely excited. And like, I keep looking in the mirror and I'm like, holy shit, like this is pretty much the last few hours that I'm gonna be looking the way that I look currently. Well, here's me in all of my glory. My hair is air dried, no makeup, pale skin, about to have no nails or nail polish or jewelry. Kara just woke up from her little nap. Her little snoop, well, kind of a lot. This it was about three hours. Well, we can't eat anymore in six minutes. Six minutes. That's the only rule I follow. <laughs> we can't eat or drink even water. So that kind of sucks because we don't even know when our fucking surgery is. We go to the hospital at 11.45 and then I guess I'll see you guys there. <laughs> no more nail polish. I'm gonna take out all my jewelry. I had to replace my Medusa with a plastic retainer thing. After sitting in the lobby for like over an hour. Finally came up to her room and I was like, okay, me and her are in the same room. And she was like, no. Um, we still don't know what time surgery is gonna be. I'm hoping that our recovery rooms can be together. I'm gonna request that tomorrow. I'm gonna be like, listen, I'm paying. Like the least you can do is put us in the same room because I've seen people who have done vlogs where they recover together. Sorry, Kara just texted me. I immediately texted her and said, absolutely not. I'm not going to be able to fucking sleep in here. I'm definitely going to ask for Xanax or some kind of anxiety medication because I can't fucking, I can't do this. I literally am so nervous. I, I'm not going to be able to sleep in this. Let me just show you the room. Like, no, nope, not doing it. And there's a bunch of babies on the wall and like a breastfeeding pamphlet. I'm just like, 
I don't know. I just, I need to get a better feel for what's going on here because right now I don't like that I'm alone. I texted my friend Emily and I was like, I'm extremely nervous. I'm about to puke. And she was like, I think it would help if you just completely pinpointed exactly what you're scared about. And that does kind of help a little bit. And then I was just talking to another girl. There were actually three of us that came. I, am I going to stop talking at all? All I know is I'm waiting on the nurse to come in and take my blood. So. so that was the last clip that I took before I went into surgery. I didn't film anything else leading up to it. And these next few clips are so entirely humiliating and hilarious that I had to stop watching them on the plane because I was cackling. I was so beyond fucked up from whatever they gave me in my IV. I don't even know what they gave me. And I just made no sense. I was entirely mutilated for the next 24 to 48 hours. So you'll see in this next clip that I filmed myself four hours post-op and... <laughs> I'm recording myself all bandaged up and I have the audacity to say, I can already tell how much I'm gonna love it. And that's just how you know that I was making no sense. I was so fucked up from the drugs. And I honestly think that I was just trying to convince myself that I was gonna love it because I couldn't even look at myself the, the first four hours after surgery. Did not look in a camera, didn't look in a mirror because I was so horrified. Anyway, enjoy these next few clips. Okay guys, they just brought in my Food. I'm gonna take my oxygen mask off because I was having problems breathing after surgery until literally right now. And it looks like I have some soup and I don't know what this is. Oh, pureed food's awesome. I'm not flipping the camera because I haven't even looked at myself yet. I'm too scared to, so. Oh, stop. Four hours. I can already tell how much I'm going to love it. I'm not terribly swollen up here, but my lips are definitely swollen. It's incredibly difficult for me to breathe, which is why I have an oxygen mask. I've had it since I left surgery. It's extremely hard to eat or drink anything, so I've just been picking at this bread. Overall pain right now, about seven and a half. Out of 10. Hey guys, I'm really trying not to laugh. We just came down here for breakfast, but we have about 15 minutes until they're open, which I'm so excited for because I am so starving. And it sucks because we can't really like, we can't eat that much, number one, because we can't taste chewing is extremely difficult. All I know is that I want pineapple juice to help with swelling, maybe like eggs, oatmeal, cheese i can't believe i'm even showing you guys this when i was doing research on rhinoplasties i wanted to see this part of the whole story so i will say this has been way worse than i thought it was gonna be i have given birth before i've been in a near-death experience in a motorcycle accident it's not even comparable like this type of pain isn't as bad as the motorcycle accident it's not as bad as giving birth but it is just the most uncomfortable unpleasant experience and i just cannot wait to get the splints out of my nose and to be able to breathe. Six more days until I go home. I don't even know what else to say. I guess I'll just show you my breakfast. <laughs> okay, so obviously my bandage needs changed horribly. Yuck. First thing that I have to do, does it start with the little white one? Yeah, no, big white one, little white one, and then brown one. Okay, so first I have to take this saline spray, like, and seriously don't mind what this looks like right now. I know it's disgusting. I take a few Q-tips and kind of clean all my stitches. Oh my god. It just sucks because I don't know where my stitches start and where they end. So fucking uncomfortable. All right, and the last thing is adding this cream. So I just kind of put it all on my stitches. I feel like that's good enough for now. I am going to take another fucking Xanax. <laughs> because I need to sleep. No, I have not been vlogging much at all because this is how I look. Honestly, I have no desire to even hold the camera or see what I look like. I'm having a really hard time, to be honest. I just wanted to show you guys, this is day two. 
I have a lot of smelly, bruising, and happening. I just took a really long nap for the first time in forever, which felt really good, but I woke up even more swollen, which sucks. We just ordered more ice and ice cream. Today is Saturday, and we don't get our casts off and splints out until Wednesday, so... It's gonna be a long couple days. A little update, it's now Sunday at 7 46 p.m i honestly am starting to feel a little bit better i don't know if it's because of the xanax that i was finally cleared to take or the painkillers which are still just like low dose acetaminophen basically like i said they don't really believe in painkillers here but i'm starting to kind of feel a little bit more normal i'm not as in pain as i was before it's technically day friday saturday sunday it's around two days and they say the third day is the hardest so my swelling has even gone down a little bit i've been icing quite a bit i'm hoping that this stays the same and i'm hoping that tomorrow isn't as bad as everyone says it's gonna be okay you guys today's the day today's the day today's the day oh my god today's the day we get our cast off we get our splints out we can finally breathe and talk and eat and sleep i still look really scary obviously like honestly horrifying i can't even believe that i'm letting you guys see what i look like right now but it's fine i'm gonna try to make myself as presentable and cute as possible i think i might even put on like a little bit of eye makeup wash my hair shave my legs do the whole damn thing so that i just like feel good when i go to get my cast off i am so nervous this morning when i was cleaning my retainer and just like cleaning my stitches and stuff the retainer actually fell out of my nose and i could see my nostrils in the entire shape of my nose which made me so excited i like loved the way that it looked i'm just getting so so anxious and nervous about going to actually get it taken off and see the whole final thing but i did want to show you so today is day friday saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday day five the swelling is pretty much subsided i still have a little bit around my eyes like in the corners um and the bruising is finally starting to like turn yellow and not as red and blue and purple i'll see you guys in a little bit You guys, it is so cute in Dr. Emma's office. Look at this view. Oh my goodness. Are you so excited? We're so nervous. Hi sisters, me editing. Here, Dr. Emra is just gently removing the tape before he takes out the retainer and the splints in the cast. I was extremely nervous for this part because everyone said that the splints coming out and the packing is really painful, but I thought it was interesting because my splints didn't look anything like what I've seen from other people. It definitely wasn't comfortable, but it wasn't as painful as I thought it was going to be. So those are the splints that he removed. My nose was still extremely tender at this point, so any type of touching actually really was painful, but I knew that it was all going to be worth it. Oh my god, I can breathe. <laughs> you can breathe, yes. Vamos. Que tal? Ah. Swelling. Minnoş, magic ödeme var, minnoş. Your tip of nose will go down. And here will be swelling. Do I just need to ice it to help with swelling? 
Uh, you can do some massages. Okay. He'll show you how to do it. Okay. And he'll do some tapings to your nose. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It looks so good. Yeah, it's so It looks so good. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> It definitely is swollen, but I love it. It looks so good. Like this. Okay? Okay. You'll do like this. Okay. Oh, it's painful. I do that yeah. every day. Yes. Three times. Three times a day. Oh my gosh. Okay, obviously it is still so swollen, but you guys, I literally started crying because i am so in love and obsessed with it already and it's obviously like it's still very very swollen but immediately he showed me and i cried because i'm so obsessed it is so beautiful i'm so happy all right guys this is oh my god kara how excited are you to go home so excited. say it one more time for the camera so excited I just woke up from a brief little nap, getting ready to go sit in an airport for six hours before I even board the fucking plane because our coordinators are idiots. But it's fine. Look at my nose, please. Oh my god. Just left Kara. She's over there somewhere and I'm sad. See you on the other side, sister. I'm just getting ready to get my boarding pass and my passport and check in. And so it fucking begins. I just thought it was gonna be simple. Me get off the plane, go to my gate, show them my passport, my boarding pass, and my negative COVID test per usual. I get there and they're like, oh, you don't have your boarding pass for your luggage. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know I needed that. They made such a big deal about this fucking luggage ticket. And I'm like, no, I'm showing you right now. I have a negative COVID test. This is my negative COVID test from my doctor. And he's like, nope, you gotta get a test. I'm literally fighting them for 25 minutes before I'm finally just like, okay, fine. I will get a fucking COVID test because if you're really not gonna let me fly home, all I'm trying to do is get home to my daughter. So then I sit in the little fucking office to get this stupid little rinky dinky COVID test. The guy was like, she's had a procedure. So, you know, make sure you tell her that so that she doesn't do it in your nose and she does it in your mouth. She was like, how long ago have you had the procedure? I was like about eight days or so ago. I don't know. She's like, okay, then it's fine in your nose. And I'm like, no, I specifically got a paper from my doctor that says I should not have any PCR swab tests in my nose because of my procedure. I'm showing them the paper. I'm reading them the paper. They were literally about to force it in my nose. And I kept like pushing away like, you're not, you're not listening to me. It's saying that I cannot, I just had a rhinoplasty. I cannot have something shoved up in my nose. I'm like, how long is this gonna take? She's like, um, 20 to 30 minutes. Good fucking thing I have a four hour layover here or else I, would be throwing a fit. My nose looks so wide right now. Oh boy. I have been sitting here in Atlanta for about four hours. I cannot wait to be home. I cannot wait. I just ate a really yummy Cobb salad with blue cheese. I got, these are, my, these are literally my favorite snack ever. And I've probably had about four white claws. My doctor would kill me if he knew I've been drinking this much. I had two gin and tonics on my 10 hour flight here. So um, I should probably chill, but I also can't help it because I need it. <laughs> I 100% need it. I can't wait to go home and shower. Look at this makeup that's crusted on my face from yesterday. Like I'm so sick. I need to change my clothes. I need to get a fucking wax. I need to get my nails done. I need to shave my legs. I need to do so many things. I just, I feel putrid. That's the, that's the proper term, putrid. Just filthy. But I'm so close. This is my last leg and then I will finally be home. I will literally be home in like three hours. That's all. I don't even know if I, is this the closing of my, I think this is the outro. This is the outro. Thank you for watching. The next video will be coming soon.